Hi, I'm Wes. Welcome to The Slumber Yard. In today's video, I've got a mattress review for you all about the Quail Mattress by Nest Bedding. So this mattress used to be called Love and Sleep, but Nest as a brand did a little bit of a redesign and a renaming. So we've got the new Quail Mattress and I'm gonna tell you all about it. In this video, we're gonna talk about the policies, what this bed will come with if you decide to order it. Then we're gonna talk about the construction, so what this thing is made of, and we're gonna touch on feel, firmness. We'll talk about some things for couples. We'll tell you about the price. And then at the end, I'm gonna have a final verdict for you so you can decide if the new Quail mattress is something that you want to maybe go with. But hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if so, we'd really appreciate it if you drop a like on it, but let's get into this review. Boom, 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 boom. Let's talk about beds. At the slumber yard. Let's talk about beds. At the slumber yard. All right, so before I get into the Quail mattress, I do wanna say that over here at the Slumber Yard, we've reviewed over 200 beds and counting. So if you need any more information about this bed, some other nest bedding beds, or any other bed in the online mattress space, visit our website, myslumberyard.com. And you can also check down below in the description. I'll have some helpful links for you down there regarding price, whether or not we can get you a discount, the full written review, and some comparisons. A lot of cool stuff will be down in that description. Now, before I tell you all about the new Quail mattress, I do wanna say that Nest did send us this bed for free to review, but if you order it online, it's gonna come with the following policies, starting with completely free shipping. This is a bed in a box mattress that'll show up to your house in about a four foot tall box, and you basically drag it inside, rip off all the packaging, and let the thing expand. Now this is an all foam mattress, so you may wanna wait maybe a day or two to let it get to its true firmness, but once the bed is in your possession, you get 365 nights to try it out in the comfort of your own home, and this is basically your chance to decide if you wanna keep the bed, or send it back. If you do decide to send it back, you can get completely free returns within that trial period, but hopefully you like this thing and it's backed by a lifetime warranty if that's the case. Now let's get into the construction and this bed is made in the USA. So if you like to support American made products, that's something cool for you to know. But when you look behind the cover, you'll notice that there is a five inch layer of support foam on bottom. Then you have a two inch layer of transition foam. And then the main comfort layer is three inches of responsive memory foam. Now I do wanna note that we have the quail dubbed a medium firmness. They make a medium and a firm. If you decide to go with the firm one, there won't be a transition layer, but we're mainly gonna focus on this medium version. Now this construction adds up to give the bed a firm neutral foam feel. It does use a pretty decent amount of memory foam, but we didn't really see it to have a memory foam feel. You're not really gonna sink into this bed. You're kind of gonna sleep on top of it. That adds to give it that firm neutral foam feel. Now, in terms of firmness, this is a little firmer than the previously named Love and Sleep mattress. We would say the Quail is around a medium firm, maybe a teeny bit firmer, in fact. So it's gonna work for all sleeper types, but it might be a better option for back and stomach sleepers since it is on that firmer end of the spectrum. Now, since this bed is an all foam mattress, we would probably recommend it for medium to petite size body types. If you're an extra large person above the 200, 250 pound range, you might wanna go for a bed that has pocketed coils. Nest Bedding does make a couple of different options with pocketed coils, so those will be linked down below in the description if you wanna check those out. But if you're a medium or petite sized person, you're probably gonna be fine on the Quail mattress. And if you're a back or stomach sleeper, you'll be fine on this medium most likely, but if you want something even firmer, maybe check out their firm model of this bed. But overall, this medium Quail is around a medium firm and it'll probably work for a lot of people out there. Now, before I talk a little bit more about this bed, I do wanna mention our monthly mattress giveaway club. Every single month, we give away a brand new queen size bed. And if you wanna figure out how you could potentially win that queen size bed, check down below in the description. How you're gonna enter is all linked down there, and I wish you the best of luck. But now let's talk about a couple things that couples might wanna consider if you happen to be sharing the Quail mattress. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is edge support. And since this bed is an all foam mattress, it isn't the absolute best we've ever seen in terms of edge support, but in terms of other all foam beds, it performs pretty darn well in that category. So you're definitely not gonna be falling off the edges of this mattress if you like to sleep closer to them. Now, in terms of motion isolation, this has to do with how well the bed transfers cross mattress movement. And this bed also performs pretty darn well because it uses that memory foam on top. It's gonna deaden motion pretty nicely, so if your partner likes to get up in the middle of the night or something like that, you won't wake up through it, most likely. You never know if they're gonna run into a shelf or something. Hey, keep it down over there. 
Now, the last thing that we lump into the couple section is temperature regulation, and this is basically how hot or cold the bed is gonna sleep. And this isn't an active cooling bed, and they don't really market it to be one, so we think it'll sleep neutral for most people out there. And the main thing with temperature regulation to keep in mind is how hot are you gonna keep your room? Where do you live? Do you have some nice breathable sheets? Those all play way more of a factor than the bed most likely. Now it's time to talk about the price. How much are you going to be spending if you do wanna get the Quail mattress? And I do wanna say beforehand, mattress brands, they like to tinker with their prices and sometimes they'll move it up, sometimes they'll move them down, but at the time of me recording this video, a queen size quail goes for around $1,000 before any discounts, but we should have a discount for you linked down below in the description that will save you around 100 bucks and then you'll probably be paying around the $900 mark. So definitely check that out if you do want to go with this quail mattress, because we like saving you some money over here at the Slumberyard. It basically brings us a lot of joy. That and when you hit that like button. Yes. So if this bed has really grabbed your attention, make sure to check down below in the description for those current discounts. And we'll also keep the current pricing in case Ness does like to change the pricing a little. That'll all be linked down below in the description. But that's basically all you need to know about the new Quail mattress. I know it's not really a new bed, but it's got a new name. So I thought you should know about it. And you probably want a final verdict. Who is this bed best for and who should ultimately go with this thing? Well, if you're looking for a pretty simple all foam mattress that's available in two different firmness options with a firm neutral foam feel and some really generous policies, I couldn't see you going wrong with the Quail mattress. But what do you guys think? Have you tried a bed like this? Have you tried this exact bed? Write us down below in those comments. We would love to hear from you. And again, hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and we're on TikTok now and we're having a lot of fun. But hey, that's just me. That's just our TikTok. For the rest of the Slumberyard team, I'm Wes wishing you a good night's sleep. <laughs>